after listening to Astra's talk on taking back power in the age of networks, I did a little more research on her book, The People's Platform, Taking Back Power and Culture in the Digital Age. And I thought it had some really interesting arguments about how internet and technology isn't leveling the playing field and creating equality in an egalitarian society like people would have us believe. It had some interesting points, like even in her talk, she mentioned how instead of Hollywood and celebrities being idolized as they used to be, like now tycoons such as like Amazon and Google and um, like Yahoo, those kind of people are like getting all the money and they create and keep the society going. They're the one percent, they're the elite in the internet and they have all the control. They do the advertising, they control the websites, they see all the money flowing. Another interesting point I thought that was made was that the internet can actually be harmful for people who are creative. So like bloggers, or so for journalists, or um, like painters, or those kind of people. The internet can be harmful because now there's such a mass of like online blogging and writing and um, like graphic design that there's no market for these people to compete in and so there's no way for them to make money. And that can obviously be a problem because it eliminates them from being middle class and as she talks about this problem of eliminating the middle class completely, um, that could be a obviously a huge problem. I also thought the article and the information about the rolling jubilee paying off the student debt for the university um, Corinthian colleges. So it says that they paid off $3.85 million of debt for 2,700 people because this for-profit university closed. And so no one could get degrees or anything like that. What I thought was interesting about that was that how these people were targeting lower income and demographics and also racial minorities. They had a system set up to target these people and exploit them. And then they were indebted in loans, and that's a big way of power. Like, debt is power for the people who are the loners themselves. And so it reinforces this power structure in society. I also compared this to something she was talking about in her speech or her talk about advertisements and how advertisements target certain groups and certain minorities or um, they're very discriminatory. So she's talking about like the single mother categories or the low income categories and how advertisers use these um, discriminatory titles to target certain sex within society. And that seems like something very similar to the article about you are not alone and the student debt. People use the internet, they use networks, online networks, to target vulnerable um groups within society and exploit them. And that's something that's made easier rather with technology rather than harder. And so I see what she is talking about, how technology hasn't necessarily made us have a better society or hasn't evened out the playing field. It can actually, it actually has like dramatized that effect in some ways. And so I thought that was really interesting.